Hello, my cheerful learners. I hope you have completed your previous lessons. This is the next chapter, Triangles of NCRT book for class 9. Let's start the chapter. In this chapter, we will study the proving of triangles congruent. So, before we begin the proving of triangles to be congruent, let's get an idea of what is congruence. So, what is congruence? The two geometric figures with exactly the same size and shape are congruent figures. When you keep one figure over the other, if it exactly overlaps, the first figure that means they are exactly equal in shape and size that means they are congruent figures so how much do you need to know about two triangles by the word itself triangles that means the shape consists of three angles obviously it will have three arms also so what we have to prove that they are congruent that means the three sides and triangles must be equal. Then only we can tell that two triangles are congruent. You have learned that if all six pairs of corresponding parts, that means three sides and three angles are congruent, then the triangle are congruent. Like in this slide, we are having a triangle ABC and triangle DEF. If the side AB is congruent to DE, BC is congruent to EF and AC is congruent to DF. Then, and what about the angles? Angle A must be congruent to angle D. Angle B must be congruent to angle E. Angle C must be congruent to angle F. Then we say that the triangle ABC is congruent to DEF. Look at the symbol of the congruency. So, do you need all the six we need to prove? The answer is big no. It is sufficient to prove any three criteria that we have already did in your previous classes too. There are four major criteria to prove the congruence of a triangle. First one is side, side, side. In a triangle, if the corresponding sides are equal to the corresponding sides of another triangle, like in this figure, like AB is congruent to DE, BC is congruent to EF, and AC is congruent to DF, then it is enough to prove that two triangles are congruent to each other. That means triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF, and the rest angle like angle A will be congruent to angle D, angle C will be congruent to angle F, and angle B is will be congruent to angle E by the concept CPCT. That means corresponding part of congruent triangles. The second condition is SAS. If the side, if the two side and an included angle of a triangle is equal to the corresponding two sides and an included angle are equal, then the triangle will be congruent. Like in this figure, if AB is congruent to DE, angle A is congruent to angle D, and AC is congruent to side df then we say that the triangle abc is congruent to def now what do you exactly mean by included angle let us make it more clear the angle between two sides are known as included angles like in the first figure the side gh and gi then the included angle is angle g in the second figure, if GI and HI is 
your side, then the included angle is I. And in the last figure, GH and HI, the included angle is angle H. Can you name the included angle in this given figure? For YE and ES, yes, it is your angle E. For ES and YS, can you name it? Yes, it is S. And for YS and YE, yes, it is angle E. Y. Next condition is angle side angle. When two angles of a triangle and an included side is equals to the corresponding two angles and an included side of another triangle, then we say that the triangles are congruent. Like in this given figure triangle ABC and DEF, if angle A is congruent to angle D, AB side is congruent to side DE and angle B is congruent to angle E. Then we say that the triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Then again the concept of included side. Let us make it more clear. The side between two angles is known as included side. So that is if we choose the angle G and I then what is the included side is GI. In the second figure, if you take angle I and angle H, the included side is your HI. And in the third figure, if you take the angle G and H, the included side is your GH. Can you name the included side here? Angle Y and angle E. Yes, it is your YE. For angle E and angle S, it is ES side. For angle S and angle Y, it is, it will be your S. The next criteria is angle, angle side. If two angles and a side of a triangle is equals to the corresponding two angles and a side of another triangle, then we say that the triangle are congruent. Like in this given figure, angle A is congruent to angle D, angle B is congruent to angle E, side BC is congruent to side EF. Then we say that the triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. There is no included side concept we use here. There exists SSA postulate? No. There is no such thing that an SSA or ASS congruence exist. Remember this concept. Also, there is no triple A con postulate also exists. There is no, if you, if you prove that corresponding angles or the three angles are equal to each other in two triangles, we cannot say, we cannot claim that they are congruent. But remember that type of figure is similar, but they are not congruent. For an example, if two equilateral triangle, we can draw an equilateral triangle measuring 3, 3, 3 units and we can draw the equilateral triangle measuring 5, 5, 5 centimeter units but they are similar figure but they are not congruent. Let us revise all the four Congruence criteria once again, side, side, side correspondence, angle side, angle correspondence, their side must be included, side angle side correspondence, here angle must be included, angle angle side correspondence and remember that side side angle correspondence and angle 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 correspondence does not exist. There is one more criteria that is right 
hypotenuse side. This condition we use only for the right angle triangle that we will discuss in the next video and the questions based on all these four criteria also we will discuss in the next video. Thank you very much. Take care and be safe.